Section 8.4, Binomial Probability. When we want to find the probability of experiment, experiments in which an event is repeated many times, we will utilize the binomial probability. That is, the probability of x successes in a number of trials. So our formula is the, the co combination of n times x, whatever, or nx, whatever that might be, times the probability, percentage I should say, to the power of whatever this x is, times 1 minus the probability to n minus the n minus x. So it looks something like this. Um, a recent survey found that 59% of college students attended more than one institution during their college career. Suppose a sample of six students is chosen. Assuming that each student's college attendance pattern is independent of the others, meaning that it doesn't, my decision isn't based on what my friend is doing, find the probability of the following, that exactly three of the six students attend more than one institution. So I want to find... Um, looking back at our formula here, combination of 6 choose 3 times the probability, uh, the percentage is 59%, so 0 0.59 to the power of 3, because that is our x value, times 1 minus 0 0.59 to the power of 6 minus 3. So we're taking um, inside numbers and then subtracting them. So at this point, we first need to find what is 6 choose 3. So I'm going to go kind of up above here and do some, some side work. Um, remember the probability, uh, excuse me, 6 choose 3, our formula will have 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial, which is equivalent to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 6 minus 3 is 3, so 3 times 2 times 1, times 3 times 2 times 1. And we can cross off one of those 3 times 2 times 1. We can cross off a 3 times 2 because that is 6, so we're left with 5 times 4, which is 20. So this is replaced with 20. If I took 0.59 and cubed it using my calculator, we would get 0 0.20. Five three seven nine, and we'll have one minus point five nine, which is point four one, to the six minus three, which is third power. So, using your calculator, multiply all of these numbers together, and we will see that it's zero point two eight three one rounded, meaning that there's a twenty eight percent chance that three of the six students will attend more than one institution. Let's determine how well none of the students attend more than one institution. So we need to find uh, six choose no students, 0 0.59 to the power of 0, and 1 minus 0 0.59 to the power of 6 minus 0. So we need to choose 6 and choose 0. Well, if we have 6 and we're choosing none of them, we only have one option. And that's a common theme from the last section, that anytime you have a number choose 0, it's equivalent to 1, so we can simplify that. Also, anything to the 0 power is equal to 1, so this is working out nicely in our favor. And 0 0.41 to the 6th power. So if you were to take 0 0.41 and raise it to the 6th power, so multiplying it by itself, multiplying it by 1 won't change anything, we'll have 0 0.00475. So there is a less than 1% chance that none of the students will attend more than one institution. Um, go ahead, stop the video at this time, and determine if, we are, if there are exactly two of the six students attend more than one institution. So go ahead, stop the video when you're ready. Go ahead and hit play, and we'll do this problem together. So we want to choose two of the six. I'm going to take 0 0.59 to the power of two, multiply that by one minus 0 0.59 to the power of six minus two. We need to first determine what six choose two is. So we'll do some side work. So six factorial 
times 6 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. So 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial, Oops, times 2 times 1. So when I multiply 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. So we are able to cancel out some items here. Um, we'll end up with 6 times 5, which is 30, and divide that by 2, which is 15. Using your calculator, take 0.59 and square it. You should get about uh, 0 0.3481. And then we'll have 0 0.41 to the fourth power. So using your calculator, multiply all the way across. So you might want to take uh, 0 0.41 to the fourth power first. Then mu multiply across. You'll end up with 0 0.1475. So about 15% of the student of of the students will attend more than one institution uh, for the exactly two of them. The uh, FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, monitors pricing accuracy to ensure that consumers are charged the correct price at checkout. According to the FTC, 29% of the stores that use checkout scanners do not accurately charge customers. So let's say you shop at three stores that use checkout scanners, what is the probability that you will be incorrectly char charged in at least one store? So at least one store means that it's the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three. So we have to do that formula multiple of times here um, and add all their probabilities together because it's at least one, meaning it could be one, it could be two, or it could be up to three stores that we're getting charged incorrectly. So using the formula, we'll have three choose one times 0 0.29, because that's our percentage rate, to the power of one, and then one minus 0 0.29 to the power of 3 minus 1. Add that to, so choose of the 3 choose 2 times 0 0.29 to the second power 1 minus 0 0.29 to the power of uh, 3 minus 2. And then we have to add that to um, 3 choose 3 0 0.29 to the third power, uh, 1 minus 0 0.29 to the 3 minus 3 power. This can be a lot of work and daunting. I'll show you in a couple more examples how we could do this in a little easier way, but for now let's just do it the long way here. So 3 choose 1. If I have three things and I want to choose one of them, there are only three options to get there. You could use the formula if you'd like, but know that there are only three options. A 0 0.29 to the first power is 0 0.29. And then we'll have um, 1 minus 0.29, so 0 0.71 to the second power gives me 0 0.5041. So this here is 0 0.71, and I rose it to the second power. <coughs> I'll let you verify. But if I have three and I'm choosing two, there are three options for this. Um, go ahead, verify using the formula. 0 0.29 to the second power is 0 0.0841. And then we'll have uh, 0 0.71 to the first power. So times 0 0.71 to the first power, which is just 0 0.71 anyways. Plus, we also know that 3 choose 3 is equivalent to 1. There's one way we can choose 3 options from 3. 0 0.29 to the first power, or to the, excuse me, to the cubed power is 0 0.024389. Here we'll have 0 0.71 to the 0 power, and anything to the 0 power is equivalent to 1. So using our calculator, we can multiply each one of these numbers giving us 0 0.438567 plus, now multiplying these sets together, we'll have 0 0.179133 and then multiplying these sets is 0 0.024389 so adding all of our decimals together 
0 0.6421 when rounded. So we have about a 64% chance that if we shop at three stores, at least one of those stores will charge us incorrectly. So let's say we shop at these three stores and at checkout, what is the probability that you'll incorrectly get charged at most one store? So at most, meaning we want to find the probability of finding zero that we get charged, or the probability of one, because those are the ones that are less than or equal to one, so at most one. So the probability of zero would be the combination of three choose zero times zero point two nine to the zero power and then 1 minus 0 0.29 to the 3 minus 0 power plus. But if we look above, did we not already find what P of 1 was equal to? Uh, the probability of 1 was 0 0.438567. So we don't even need to redo it since we've already found it from above. So the probability of 3 choose 0 is 1. We already determined that from other lessons. Uh, anything to the zero power is equivalent to one. So now I'm going to take 0 0.71 to the third power and then add that to 0 0.438567. Uh, 0 0.71 to the third power times one times one is 0 0.357911. And if I add that to That would be 7.7965. So we have a 79, about 79% 79 chance that we will be incorrectly charged in at most one store. So let's say that we shop at four stores now. So not three stores anymore. We're shopping at four stores. Find the probability that you'll be charged incorrectly in at least one store in at least one store. So that means I would need to find the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4. So based on what we did up above here, that could be a lot of work. We'd have to do that four times that formula and that can be kind of daunting. So the opposite would be finding the probability of 1 minus the probability of nothing. So we only would need to find out one formula versus all of them. So we're doing its complement. So the complement of at, in at least one would be less than one, which would be zero. So we need to find one minus four stores choose zero, 0 0.29 to the zero power, and one minus 0 0.29 to the 4 minus 0 power. So this is equivalent to 1 minus anything choose one uh, choose 0 is equivalent to 1. Here we have it raised to the 0 power, so 1, and 0 0.71 to the 4th power. This is equivalent to 1 minus uh, 0 0.71 to the 4th power is 0 0.2541168181, and if we subtract uh, take 1 minus that quantity, we get 0 0.7459. So we have a 70, about a 75% chance that we will be charged incorrectly in at least one of the four stores. And this concludes section 8.4, the binomial probability.